Assalamualaikum and hi. Today, I would like to present my final year project, Challenges of Sheikh Fumigation as Fault Party Logistics for PL. For abstract, the increasing of demand for the shipping activities have created a negative impact from the ship fumigation and also challenge to the Fort Party Logistics for PL. It's very worrying because commonly dangerous gas used in the fumigation may continue to absorb during fumigation into shipping container or storage. This study will examine the challenge of ship fumigation towards fault party logistics and also emphasize the effort that needs to be taken to understand the process of ship fumigation in order to ensure safe handling of fumigated storage. In order to achieve this, the study was conducted with Malaysian Pest and Management Association MPMA, and 4PL operator that offer ship fumigation service. The method used for this study is qualitative method where the data and information are obtained and mainly from all sources including journal, article, newspaper and other reliable valid source of information. This result also highlights the factor of continued research into challenge in ship fumigation and the importance toward fault party logistics. Introduction Background of study According to Toms and Busaka 2016, Fumigants are insecticides that become caseous when they come into contact with the target pest. There are two types of pesticides, either liquids, aerosol, immunosable concentrate and solution, or solids, wettable powder, suspension concentrated, dust and granules when they come into contact with the pest. A fumigant gas molecule is almost 1,000 times smaller in size than an aerosol droplet or dust particle. Fumigants also have a, a high vapor pressure. Because of the small size of, of gas molecule and their high vapor pressure, fumigants can penetrate the treated commodity substrate and structure, then kill pests in locations unreachable to liquid and solid pesticide formulation. Meanwhile, Fumigants can provide immediate, dependable, quantitable, and effective control of a range of target pests while having no negative impact on the fumigated communities. The general toxicity of fumigant is metabromide, an active alkylating agent that can give negative impact on fundamental life processes at the cellular level. In addition, to remove incipient infestation, metabromide has been the fumigant of charge for treating contaminated goods on subsequently infected warehouse, storage facilities, and even household. However, the use of fumigants, especially in 4PL industry, as a ship fumigation might absorb on the carrier item and accumulate in the packaging or the product themselves, emitting successfully in the weather when the container is unpacked or when the imported goods are opened at their final destination. This is because the use of prohibited fumigant and also lack of indication in shipping document. For the problem statement, according to Perizia et al. 2011, ship fumigation, especially for freight container, is to protect carried product from fungal and insect infestation. It has been expanded globally in the last five years as a result of international room mandating fumigation or heat treatment of timber packaging, material, and danish. They discovered that every seed container has included hazardous amount of different fumigants and chemicals posing a substantial health risk to the 4PL operators such as travel station, personnel, warehousemen, retail staff and customer. The main cause in the shipping documentation for this container contain no information concerning the fumigant technique or other fumigant utilized. 4PL operators recently suffer from intercirculation the fumigant due to inhaling air out of fumigated container. For the research question, Firstly, how ship fumigation activity affected the 4PL industry. Second, what is the challenge from ship fumigation industry toward the 4PL industry? <coughs> Third, how, the over how to overcome the ship fumigation impact toward the 4PL industry. For the objective of study, firstly, to identify challenges that faced by 4PL operators in providing ship fumigation services. Second, to analyze the standard practice used in ship fumigation procedure. Third, to find the necessity effort in order to overcome the challenges having by 4PL operator. For the organization of the study, this thesis is organized in five chapters. The organization of the study is follow. Chapter 1, this chapter covers the introduction, statement of the problem, research objective and significance of study. Chapter 2, this chapter will address an overview of issues that faced by 4PL operator in providing ship formulation services and reviews the literature of significant health risk toward 4PL operator, especially their worker and consumer. 
chapter 3 this chapter will present the research methodology which covers sampling technique research design and the process of data collection chapter 4 this chapter present the result from data analysis that cover analysis of respondent and finding of the statistical tests and, an and analysis chapter 5 this chapter will focus on the in-depth discussion of the result conclusion implementation of the study recommendation contribution of the study and suggestion for future research in this area so next we move to chapter 2 <coughs> chapter 2 is the literature review firstly the purpose of this study is to examine the challenges that are faced by 4PL operator in providing ship promulgation services. This chapter discusses the review of related study as well as empirical findings that are important to the development of the theoretical and conceptual framework and methodological consideration in order to achieve the objective of this study. This is also to attain more insight on how significant health risk toward 4PL operator, especially their workers and consumers become the main challenges, especially in ship formulation services. Uh, firstly, significant health risk towards 4PL operator, especially their workers and consumer. Uh, reactive Airways Dysfunction Syndrome or RADS According to Presia et al. 2011, long-term symptoms from formigan interaction can create a development of RADS. Their symptoms, which include increased clogging, a burning feeling in the airways, and chest tightness, were consistent with bronchial hyperactivity. It comes from open exposed to fumigant when opening imported freight container or unloading cargo. In addition, there were frankly no suggestion or sign in the shopping documentation and or the container for fumigant application. Life threatening problem phosphine. Life threatening problem. Phosphine is still the most extensively used fumigant in the treatment of bug grain, all seed and pulses across the supply chain from on-farm storage to grain terminal to international shipment. Grain that has not completely released the phosphine absorbed during fumigation may continue to dissolve phosphine into the headspace of a shipping container or storage. The symptoms of phosphine inhalation are bug and transitory but they can quickly become life threatening In addition, Phosphine is a hazardous gas that has been shown to attach into grain kernel surfaces and permanent into grain kernel during fumigation. Understanding the mechanism of phosphine, desorption is critical for ensuring safe grain handling after fumigation in silos and throughout shipment. Grain that has not completely released the phosphine absorbed during fumigation may continue to dissolve phosphine into a headspace of a rail car, a cargo container, river barge or ship hold as well as the surrounding to which it is exposed. If this occur at a faster or greater pace than predicted, the grain storage holding structure may continue to retain phosphine at measurable level even after it to be fumigant free because grain must be below a particular fumigant concentration before safe handling and unloading this might harm percent handling such grain. We go to uh, chapter 3 for the methodology. Firstly, method. The methodology chapter is divided into four sections. The first section outline the model used. The second and third section discuss type of data and design of the questionnaires respectively. The final, uh, the final section discuss the method of analysis used in this study. The independent variable for this study are ship fumigation. Why for the why for the dependent variable challenges that faced by 4PL operator? The questionnaire for this study will be constructed based on knowledge and awareness from 4PL industry. Second is data collection. The data will be obtained from primary sources, and the primary data which will be used in this in this study is randomly sampling collected from the 4PL operator in Peninsula Malaysia by using the structured questionnaire. The data will be collected, the questionnaire will be related to the objective of this study. To assess the information about the demographic background of PL operator that provided ship fumigation services, a quantitative questionnaire is designed. The first section of the questionnaire is the information of respondents such as gender, age, managerial, managerial level, working experience and experience in ship fumigation services. All of this study are gathered to study the demographic background of 4PL operator. The next section of questionnaire will 
talk about the significant health risk toward 4PL operator, especially their workers and consumer. This section also will have covered about the knowledge and awareness of issues that faced by 4PL operator in providing ship formulation service. The questionnaire will be available in both Malay and English language with Likert scale which are 1 to 5, filter or contingency question, dictumous and multiple choice question. The question were designed by referring previous study and reconstructed by myself. A sample in this study is 300 respondents for 4 PL operators around the peninsula Malaysia as a study population. Pilot study. Before the questionnaire able to be used in this study, the questionnaire will be pre-test. 30 respondents were used in the pre-test process to ensure the feasibility on industry player response, the outcome and the level of understanding. Next, uh, we go to sampling technique. Sampling technique is simple random sampling were used as a sampling technique. Simple random sampling means that any respondent from 4PL operator that provided ship formulation services has the possibility to be selected. This technique takes people from their 4PL industry itself that has possible to be the respondent for this study. This can be selected by using chances or random people. So next, uh, we move to chapter summary. This chapter discuss uh, the research design and methodology of the present study. This describes the participant of the study, the measurement instrument, the variables, the method adapted in collecting data as well as the preparation of the data and statistical procedure. The reliability of the construct and the validity of the instrument utilized have also been described in detail for the pilot study report, content validity and construct related validity were also discussed. In order to analyze the factor of knowledge and awareness, factor analysis were used for the variable and the result of factor loading should be 0.6 and above. The variable was said to be reliable when the converged alpha was at least 0.6 and then if the test was greater, it's mean more reliable. Next, we move to chapter 4. Chapter 4 is the results and discussion. Firstly, descriptive analysis. For this section, the descriptive analysis was made based on data that have been collected through the survey, which already conducted for the 4PL operator that provided ship formulation services. And in overall result, there were 300 respondents are involved in the survey. For the descriptive analysis, contain the demographic background of the respondent. Next, uh, we move to demographic background of respondent. The demographic background of the respondent was included in this study due to for identifying whether those characteristics were related with the industry awareness about significant health risk to a 4PL operator, especially their workers and consumer. So the demographic factors such as gender, age, managerial level, working experience and experience in ship fumigation services become important in order to identify the related issue from ship fumigation towards 4PL industry. So next, we move to the proportion of male and female of respondent in this study of 57.3% consists of male and 42.7% are female. All the respondents are from various 4PL operators that provided ship remuneration services in Peninsula Malaysia that registered under the Pension Pest Management Association MPMA. For the age group, majority of the respondents were from young respondents which is their early 20s, 18 to 25 years old with 47.3% followed by mid-age 31 uh, to 40 years which 21.3%, 26 to 30 years with 60%, 8.7% for respondents in age 41 to 50 years and the least was 47 for people aged 60 years and above. The majority of respondents that participated in this study were still in young age and some of them were newly hired in the 4PL industry. Most of the respondents were for non-executive level that has the highest percentage at 82% for the managerial level. Then followed with uh, executive level for 40% mostly of the respondents from non-executive level due to most of them are frequently hired in the 4PL industry. The working experience was sorted according to three categories of working years of experience 0 to 5 years, 6 to 10 years and above and above 10 years of working experience. Mostly respondents are from 0 to 5 years and got the highest percentage, 56.7. Other 42.7 are the 6 to 10 years and the rest of 0.6% are come from above 10 years of working experience. For the experience issue formulation services, was sorted according to 4 categories of experience. 
zero to three years, four to six years, seven to nine years, and above ten years of experience in ship communication services. Most of them come from four to six years of experience with forty percent. Then followed by zero to three years of experience with eighty eight six uh twenty percent of them seventy nine years of experience, and the rest one point four ten years experience in ship communication services. For the factor analysis, for the factor analysis is was run to define the underlying the structure in the data metric and was used to analyze the inclination factor of challenges that faced by 4PL operator in providing ship communication services, measuring the accuracy of sampling. The accuracy of the sampling and correlation presence among the river were measured by using the Kaiser Mayor Orkin KMO sampling adequacy test and ballot test of separacy to get the proportion of total variation of the dependent variable. The result was explained by the independent variable in this test. According to the previous study by Tabachri 2007, KMO sampling adequacy test and ballot test of simplicity were run to make the confirmation either the factor analysis can be carried out as a proper analysis or not. Based on the table below, <coughs> table point one, uh, value of Kaiser Mayor or King KMO uh, 0.779 which more than 0.6 so that the factor analysis able to be run as proper analysis beside that the significant level of P over the 0, 0.000 showing that the ballot test of specificity gives an official level of performing the factor analysis on the data of each case so next is variable normalization the variable were rotated using the variable rotation method which is distributed the variant in the right part to get the clear separation of the components the variable rotation ensured that Variation in the data was maximized for easy interpretation of result. KZ 1974 found that the factor pattern that was obtained from variable rotation tend to be more invariant and according to Sender 2006, for easy interpretation of the result, the variable rotation will ensure that variation in the data was maximized. The variable rotation was approved to be successful in obtaining an orthogonal rotation of factor. Based on the result obtained from from a rotated factor metric, a variable that have factor loading 0.6 and above was considered significant. The variable were named based on the objective required in the study. Next, we go to eigen value criteria. Three factors were extracted from component analysis on the objective of the study. The three components were named challenge that faced in by 4PL operator in providing ship fumigation services, standard practice used in ship fumigation procedure and effort in order to overcome the challenges having by 4PL operator with an aggregate of above 1.0 and total variance explained for the three factors were 73.591%. Those the data considered satisfactory as stated by Hare et al. 1991 that the total variance explained must be more than 60%. Next summary. Therefore, roughly from the re from the result, the study found that 4PL operated in Peninsular Malaysia does aware the challenges in providing ship formulation services, but due to high demand of ship formulation services, especially for treatment of bug grain, oil seed and pulse across the supply chain in Peninsular Malaysia, the 4PL operator is their help for the business purposes. Next, uh, we go to the conclusion. Chapter 5, Conclusion. Uh, introduction. The main objective of this study was to identify challenges that faced by 4PL operator in providing ship formulation services in Peninsula Malaysia. Data was collected from whom worked for 4PL industry that provided ship formulation services in Peninsula Malaysia and registered with the Malaysian Pest Manage Management Association MPMA. The study indicated that significant health risks towards 4PL operators, especially their workers and consumers, become the main challenges that faced by 4PL operator in providing ship formulation services. Overall, the Kaiser Mayor Orkin KMO test show value of 0.779 and P above 0.00 for ballot test was said the proper level to perform the factor analysis. The inclination factor on reactive airway transmission syndrome RADS neurological problems and life threatening problem was unless to demand the most contributing factor of challenge that faced by 4PL operator in providing ship formulation. The first inclination factor was based on the reactive airway distribution RADS 23.0969% followed by neurological problem 20.191% and life threatening problem 70.753%. 
second limitation of study the limitation for this study was the total number of respondents obtained when the research was done the sample size was restricted to 300 that are very less when compared to total number of 4pl operated that provided ship formulation service in peninsula Malaysia due to limited time given for this study the data collector was restricted only for PL operator that provided ship formulation services. The result was based on what respondent answer and reply about their knowledge and awareness about the challenges that faced by four PL operator in providing ship formulation services. Therefore, the result may become personal bias. Besides that, because the answer was based on a questionnaire given, the respondent did not really give a complete and accurate response to certain question, and this might have affected the data obtained. Uh, lastly, for the recommendation from the study of challenges of ship formulation as for party logistics for PL that was run at Peninsula Malaysia, there are some recommendations to overcome the challenges having by four PL operator regarding this issue. The result of this study show that no appropriate advice in the shipping documentation or the container for fumigant application. Therefore, this might harm person handling due to the toxicity of fumigants. So, as the recommendation for PL operator and government regulatory bodies need to always work together to validate the equipment and method use of for fumigant application meet require safety standard for especially for employees and consumer. This effort will increase the productivity of for PL industry in turn service such to trade commodity in Malaysia when there is no health effect of ship uh, fumigant application. Uh, lastly, uh, for the reference, this all list of my reference. That's all from me. Thank you.